These are cinema's most thrilling high-octane pursuits. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will be counting down the top 10 movie car chases. Holy shit! Just to keep this list grounded, the entries can involve any motor vehicle, regardless of how many wheels those vehicles have. Number 10, The Getaway, Drive. Jumpstarting our list is the opening scene from the film where Ryan Gosling plays a stunt driver by day and a getaway driver by night. Calmly gripping the wheel of his silver Impala, he monitors the police while chewing on a toothpick, cunningly dodging capture. Of course, speed has its place too. A gripping chase, this one is unique for not relying on excessive danger or massive damage, but stealth and patience instead. As well as a brilliantly timed escape plan. Number 9. Freeway Chase, The Matrix Reloaded Seeking an exit from the Matrix, Morpheus and Trinity are pursued by killer glitch programs, police and agents. In their desperation, they do what they've always been told not to do and venture onto the freeway. You always told me to stay off the freeway. Yes, that's true. You said it was suicide. Then let us hope that I was wrong. The result is a ton of slow motion, broken glass and killer beats. As no real freeway was available for the three-month shoot, the production team built a one-and-a-half-mile-long stretch on an old runway. Doesn't look real? Well, that's just the extra CGI. Yeah. Number 8. Mini Heist, The Italian Job In this flick, three Austin Mini Coopers were chosen to nimbly transport millions of dollars of stolen gold. I could eat the horse. <laughs> Shot in Turin, the resulting scene made stunt coordinator Remy Julien an industry legend. Overall, this chase required 18 Mini Coopers and involved rushing through pedestrian areas, downstairs, over a dam, through a sewer, and into a truck. Not bad, considering that that much gold should technically weigh more than the vehicles themselves. Number 7. Briefcase Pursuit, Ronin. This chase stars Robert De Niro as a mercenary tasked with recovering a briefcase. Racing past Paris landmarks and into a tunnel, his pursuit causes a brutal pileup before he's hastily forced to enter another tunnel in reverse. What makes this pursuit stand out, aside from the lack of a distracting soundtrack, is that the chase placed actors in the real cars and relied on practical effects despite the availability of CGI. Number 6. Train Chase, The French Connection When a fleeing hitman escapes on an L train, the detective in pursuit refuses to give up. Getting behind the wheel of his beat-up Pontiac, he races to catch his man. A production from another era, this iconic high-speed scene was shot without a permit or extras. This meant that all of the bystanders are real. While it looks like it was meticulously planned, it actually benefited from countless happy accidents. They really don't make them like they used to. Number 5, The Aqueduct, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. In this pulse-pounding and deadly chase, the T-1000 uses an 18-wheeler to pursue a dirt bike riding John Connor. Committed to running the boy down, the chase ends up in a 40-foot wide Los Angeles aqueduct. Fortunately, a stuntman posing as Arnold Schwarzenegger shows up and saves the day, preventing John from sharing the same fate as all those abandoned shopping carts. Last chance, Murray. Number 4. The Paris Chase, The Born Identity. 
In this amnesiac spy thriller, a what is now vintage Austin Mini Cooper is used to evade the police and CIA by hightailing it through the traffic heavy streets of Paris. Along the way, five different vintage minis had to be used for the stunts, with only one surviving the ride. Uh, we got a bump coming up. This high-speed spectacle included side streets, tight passageways, stairs and sidewalks, and was made all the more immersive with its gritty handheld style. Number three, mission from God, the Blues Brothers. They're not gonna catch us. We're on a mission from God. When a recently paroled convict and his brother take on the quest of saving an orphanage from foreclosure, they end up in big trouble. We are in high-speed pursuit northbound on Cortland Avenue. Request assistance. Undeterred, they evade cops through a high-speed chase around a parking lot. You want out of this parking lot? Okay. And through a shopping mall in their blues mobile. Disco pants and haircuts. Yeah. Ultimately, they manage to send every police car flying into a ditch with a total of 70 cars destroyed during the shoot. Number two, The Convoy, Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior. In this post-apocalyptic chase, a gang of filthy marauders chase down a convoy led by Mel Gibson, who's, supposedly, escorting a precious fuel tanker to safety. Fighting atop moving cars, motorcycles, and trucks, this scene is 20 minutes long and is considered one of the most outrageous and hectic ever filmed. It includes Molotov cocktails, grappling hooks, crossbows, flipping cars, and assless chaps. Also, it's awesome. Number one, the Mustang chase, bullet. Taking the lead in our list is the grandfather of all modern high-speed chases. A pursuit between Steve McQueen and a pair of deadly assassins, it starts on the streets of San Francisco and ends up on the highway. The scene lasts 10 minutes and is ultra-realistic, gritty, and featured stunt drivers hitting speeds of over 100 miles per hour while making harrowing maneuvers. Seriously, don't even try this in a video game. Agree with our list? Which high-speed pursuit had your engine revving? For more entertaining top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Well, adios!